Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Tammy, your host today here on Nutmeg Notebook. I teach people about a whole food plant-based lifestyle, what to buy at the grocery store, how to fix it once you get home. I'm a recipe developer and I love this lifestyle. So my husband Tom and I will soon be celebrating uh, 11 years having adopted a whole food plant-based lifestyle and we are happy that you are here. I'm going to try to bring this up on my iPad or maybe I'll need to let you do that for me, Tom. Here we go, live salad batch prep. So today what I'm gonna show you is how I batch prep 14 salads in 30 minutes. Of course, it might take me a little bit longer today because I'll be chatting with you, but I batch prep our salads weekly and it takes me literally 13, 14, woo! It takes me 30 minutes to do 14 salads. So this morning we just got done doing a live where we showed you our Walmart shopping haul that we did today. We were pleasantly surprised when we went to Walmart and found so many um, organic things that we buy. And we didn't go there intending to do a grocery haul there, but we ended up doing it because the prices were great and everything looked delicious. So I'm going to show you how I do it. We're gonna start off with the organic kale. And I do wanna say, if you have questions for us, you can leave questions in the chat, preface them with three question marks and with three question marks. Um, Gina is on board with us. She's one of our moderators and she's here to help. Um, these are, uh, people are already at, curious about the containers. These are Ziploc containers. They are nine cup Ziploc containers. I have had these for a few years. They do not make this exact container anymore. They make one that's a little bit shorter, but deeper. So just look for, you know, it depends how big of a container is going to depend on how big you make your salads. You don't need to make them the same size that I do. Tom likes his salads to actually be bigger. Bigger. He adds some greens to them before he chops it. Um, so, you know, depends, the size of container is gonna depend on how big your salads are. So I hope that helps. Um, so look for containers at Walmart, Target, any of those um, type of stores. I don't even know what they call those now, like super centers. Yeah, um, and we haven't found the perfect replacement one for us yet. We've been we haven't. keeping our eyes open. We've actually ordered some things on Amazon, but. Right, but but, um, but we're still looking to for, uh, like I was also pricing stainless steel containers. They're a lot more expensive, but it would be like a lifetime purchase to do that. But we haven't found one big enough yet that's in our budget. So we're gonna get started with the um, already triple washed green kale. It is organic and um, it looked really fresh. And so, and as you can see, they've kind of shredded it for us, which is really nice. That's what we like. And then we end up chopping our salads, but we'll talk about that too. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I have two bags of it, so I'm going to divide each bag into seven containers. And you know, I have to kind of guess, and sometimes I have to go back because sometimes I get too heavy handed in the beginning, and I, then I have to go back and redistribute it a little bit. So we are actually out of salads. We were gone over the weekend, and um, so we didn't do our normal grocery shopping last week and our batch prepping that would normally have happened over the weekend because we weren't here. So let's just finish topping these off. Okay, that's looking pretty good. You know, I used to weigh them and um, I was a little bit fanatic about trying to get them all even. I no longer worry about doing that. That was too stressful. So there's just a little piece of brown on that one. So I'm going to take that out. And here we go with the other bag of kale. Now what's really important 
is that everything be pretty dry when you are making these. If it isn't, one thing that I do is I will put everything out. Like if the greens seem to be a bit wet, I will put them out on. Your, your chain is clinking terribly. Oh, is it? Yeah, we gotta take it off. Okay, come take it off. I will take it out and I will put it on a towel and um, I'll roll the towel up and try to dry it so that um, there isn't so much moisture in the salad. Another thing that you can do is you can fold up a paper towel and you can put a paper towel in it and that will help um, with some of the moisture that is in it if the spinach or the kale or the arugula is too wet. Let's see, next let's do the spinach. So I have a one pound container of spinach and we're just gonna divide that up. And you can use whatever greens you prefer. So if you don't like spinach, switch it for something else. It's okay. Now, I did a video a couple weeks ago and we weren't able to get good arugula at that time. And so I used double the amount of kale and the salads were good, but they weren't our favorite with that much kale in them. We really do like the variety of greens and having the arugula in them. And so when we were able to get organic arugula at Walmart today, I told Tom, we have to make another video showing us batch prepping our salads because we really like them this way. And also I do buy the pre-washed, the triple washed veggies because that makes them last longer because they're not soaking wet. Okay, now I'm gonna do arugula. I have three five ounce containers of arugula. If you can find it in a one pound container, that would be great. And again, it depends on how big you want your salads to be. So I'm just gonna divide this up. I really like the little kind of bite to it that arugula has. It's a little bit peppery and I like that. Not everybody likes arugula, so choose something that you do like. And on to the next one. Okay, can you check and see if there's any questions for me, Tom? Do you, yes, Jean is asking, do you always eat your salads as is or do you throw them in the blender or cook them in a soup sometimes? Good question. So most of the time we eat the, the, the salad as a salad. And before we, before we eat them, we like to chop them. And I'll talk about that when I get the salads, when I'm done making the salads. And occasionally though, on a cold day, I might decide to saute mine and I will, everything in here can be cooked. There isn't anything that cannot be cooked. And so sometimes I will decide to saute my salad like a stir fry and serve it over a grain. And that's a really good option for those of you who live in a cold climate. And especially this past week, as cold as it's been, you may not want a all cold salad. Or the other option is to heat ingredients up to top your salad with. And that works really well too. And if we are going someplace and we're not able to eat up all these salads, then we can take and pop them in a freezer bag 
and freeze them and then use them as something to saute later. So this is broccoli slaw. And so I have two bags of broccoli slaw and I'm just gonna divide those up. And we like the, you know, getting the more cruciferous um, vegetables in the salad. We like the flavor, we like the crunch that the broccoli slaw offers us. back. This one doesn't have as much. Sometimes I'm chintzy on that first one. Here Belinda, Belinda's making a, a statement about needing a bigger refrigerator <laughs> and uh, it, you know just as a side note while Tammy's dispensing here we purposefully got a 28 cubic foot refrigerator behind us here and the 20 I think it was the 23 was the next size down. Uh -huh. The width was the same um, but, but this one has more depth to it, which is a, a critical component of being able to fit all 14 of these cells into this refrigerator. So when we load it up, Tammy's worked out a way to load them all in here so that we can just grab them and, and, and chop them and then add our other ingredients. So anyway, yeah, refrigerator size does kind of matter or having a second one maybe out in the garage or something. Or if you're just making cells for one person, you're not making 14, you're making seven. Or maybe you don't make them as big as we yeah. do because a lot of people say, oh, I could never eat a salad that big. That's okay. Yeah, but we do, generally speaking, we do eat one salad every single day. Um, yep. And so that's why we make 14 because then that's basically half our meals for the week is handled. Since right, we, eat two meals a day. We eat two meals a day, yeah, so. I'm going to go okay. back to the camera. I just want to honey. fill that in while you were just dispensing. Thank you. Good job. Okay, oh, next extra up. Extra cabbage here. Hey, stop it. Stop it. Okay, so now I have two bags. These are 10 ounce bags of shredded carrots. Just going to do the same thing with the carrots. They just, you know, adds a nice crunch. It adds color. It's another um, different color of veggie so we're getting different nutrients from it you know that the saying eat eat a rainbow every day um, because all the different colored vegetables have different nutrients and that's why we want to have that variety and these are mm -hmm. so delicious tammy while you're dispensing the carrots yes um, uh, um, amanda is asking um, what you use for dressing do you use dressing at all um, sometimes we do if I make a dressing. So we have on the blog at nutmegnotebook.com, I have a vegan ranch dressing. I have two Caesar dressings, one made with nuts, one without. The creamy balsamic is a really popular recipe and it actually is made with beans and balsamic vinegar and garlic and it's absolutely delicious. We also like to use salsa um, if we're having a mexican one and lime juice is really good fresh adding fresh herbs also um, adds a lot of flavor uh, sometimes apple cider vinegar okay, i'm going to rob a little bit because i'm a little light kinds of vinegars? on that one we like the california balsamic flavored vinegars um, you can use those as well and those are delicious. And if you add fruit to your salads, then um, that adds moisture and flavor. And oftentimes you don't even need salad dressing. So now I'm adding slices of red onion. And we didn't have to buy red onion today because we already had it in stock. And sometimes Tom likes a little extra red onion. And I usually have some sliced onion in the refrigerator and he will get into that and add another slice to his salad. But he can eat a lot more food than I, I do. And so that's why we say make the salads the size that's right for you. Okay. So we just kind of have to push 
everything in here. And then we're moving on to the red cabbage. And I had showed you guys earlier in our earlier live video today, the great big cabbage that Tom got today for our salads. So I only needed half of it. I, we cut it in half and then he um, wrapped it tightly in plastic wrap. And then this will go in the fridge and this should be perfectly fine next week when we go to make salads again. And so now I'm just gonna add red cabbage to each salad. And we love the color, the crunch that this gives to it. And it's so delicious. And colorful. And yes, I somebody asked me, do you make these salads pretty even if you're not um, doing a video? I do. They always look like this. They do always look like this. Oh, I think I'm short. How did I get short for that one? I might need another slice. Okay, here we go. There's a little bit of cabbage out in the garage from last week. We might grab and use. Yeah, for here, today's just salads. hang on. Let's see. Just see. I may have miscalculated when I sliced it. That can happen. There we go. Are you too short? No, I think I'm not. Oh. This one fell apart though. So this one, this one isn't a pretty. It's not because I ate some. <laughs> no, it's not. Here we go. No, I am a little short on we'll this one. We'll just add some of that one to this one here. Now everybody will be even. And I've got little scraps here. I wouldn't want to feel like I'm being shortchanged on cabbage. <laughs> there we go. So then I just add tomatoes. And I know you're not supposed to put tomatoes in the fridge, but these do not get mealy. They really do not. Six? Yeah, usually do six. So everything except for the red cabbage and the red onion, we were able to get at Walmart today. So... Oh, I just kicked the camera. Sorry, guys. All the people who say, well, we don't have a Costco, a Whole Foods, and a Trader Joe's. Well, guess what? You don't need them. You can get what you need. Oh, and the red onion, I didn't, they had red onion there. We just didn't buy it there because we already had a red onion. And they were out of red cabbage today, but they did have green cabbage. So we could have bought green cabbage, but we knew we were going to Whole Foods and we knew we could get our red cabbage there. I think only one time they've been out of red cabbage. But I don't know if I'm staying out of your way or Most not. grocery stores have them. Okay, there we go. So, and it's even quicker. If Tom helps me do this. 30 minutes. Then it's even quicker. It'll go, to, go even um, faster. So that's it. That is our salads. And then we just put the lid on them and then I put them in the fridge. So I'm just gonna see if there's um, other questions. I'm gonna scan the salad real quick. Uh, Amanda says, will this video be saved to watch again later? Absolutely, of course. It will, it'll automatically be um, loaded to YouTube and you can watch it as many times as you wish. Do you have a blog post that details the ingredients of a? I don't. Oh. I don't. We can do. We could do one though. We mm -hmm. could do one, and then we could embed this video mm -hmm. in it, and that would work well. And so, if you um, if you have your own garden and you're using greens out of your garden, then you just want to wash them and get them as dry as you possibly can before you batch prep because it's moisture that will start to cause everything to start decaying. And if you buy your greens, then also you want to make sure that they are as dry as possible. But you can line the container with a paper towel or a cloth towel in the bottom. And some people also like to put one on top. I generally don't have to do that. If any of my greens are really wet, then I will lay them out on a towel and I will 
um, roll the towel up and try to get them as dry as I can before I batch prep the salads. I wash my tomatoes and I lay those out on a towel and then I take the towel and um, just rub them dry so that they're not carrying a lot of moisture in them. And then we put these in the refrigerator and, um, and I stack them and some of them go in upside down. I've just had to, you know, adjust the shelves in my refrigerator to accommodate so I can stack them three high. And because they are batch prepped, because they're all ready to go, means that we will eat them every day. That prevents us from going out to eat. It prevents all of this all of these vegetables from going bad because they're ready to eat. We could eat them just like this and just add dressing to them. But what we do is we dump it into a 15 inch wood bowl and then we chop it with a mezzaluna knife. And you don't have to have a wood bowl to do that. You can use um, OXO, the OXO company. They have a salad chopping bowl that you can buy. You used to be able to get it at Bed Bath & Beyond, but you can get it from Amazon. And it's on our Amazon store at amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash nutmeg notebook. Or you can use a big cutting under board. Bowls and food prep, I think. It should be. Bowls and food prep category. Yeah. You can use a big cutting board and a big knife and chop it up that way. Some people tell me they use their food processor and they just use the pulse function because you could turn it into a smoothie really easily if you're not um, real careful. But, um, but we just do the chop it. The reason we like to chop it is it tastes incredible when you chop it. It reduces the overall volume of the salad. It makes it easier to chew and the, just makes every bite taste flavorful because when you chop it, all of the juices and all of the flavor from everything that's in the salad disperses throughout the salad. And then we top them with um, just lots of delicious toppings, different types of beans and grains or potatoes, fruit, um, other crispy vegetables like we like cucumbers and peppers and all kinds of delicious things. I'll link that video. And Tom can link that. How to chop a salad using the Hollywood Bowl video. I'll put the link in the description. Perfect. And then we have a whole class, an online class, all about beautiful chopped salads. How to prep them, how to chop them, and how to top them. And we have a 30% discount code if you're interested. You get a downloadable PDF ebook. You can print it for your own use if you wish, or just load it onto your computer. If you use discount code NUTMEG30, you can save 30%. It has 12 videos, plus you get this ebook full of recipes, and there's 25 different salad ideas in here, what you can do, how you can top it to make it delicious, different types of um, gluten-free, crouton salad dressings, all kinds of fun stuff. So um, we love our chopped salads. We've been eating them for almost 11 years. Um, well, we've been eating a salad every day as one of our main meals for almost 11 years. I think the chopped salads we've been doing since about 2015, and um, it helped me lose uh, almost 50 pounds, and Tom lost 40, and it helps us keep them off because it's low calorie density, we actually look forward to eating our salads every day because they're so delicious. It's not repetitive because what we put on them can change every day if we want them to. We can make a Mexican, Mediterranean. We can, you know, add garbanzo beans or hummus and a falafel patty. We can add beans, rice, and corn and salsa and make it Mexican. We can do um, sauteed mushrooms and onions and sun-dried tomatoes and a healthy Italian type salad dressing and have it be Italian with, you know, we can add peppers into it and all kinds of delicious things. So you can totally customize your salad every day and it's easy when you already have the base 
done for you. We have a couple of questions I have ready for you. Okay, I'm ready. Yeah, the first one is, can you re, uh, just restate what greens went into, that's underneath these beautiful things on top? Sure, and you can go back and rewatch the video as well and see what, um, what we use because I showed everything. But I have arugula, spinach, and kale is in the, in the bottom. And then broccoli slaw, carrots, red cabbage, red onion, and tomatoes. And those are the things that we have found do really, really well for a week. But when you buy your broccoli slaw, you want to look on it. Like we looked at the dates today because we know, you know, these are going to last, need to last for seven days. If the expiration date was in three days on the broccoli slaw or the carrots, we wouldn't have purchased them. Or on the greens, everything needs to be at least with an expiration date of seven days from now. If it's a little bit further, that's even better because that gives us a little bit of buffer, but um, that's what we look for. If they're wet, put a paper towel on the bottom of your container, put another one on top. If you don't have these containers, you could use gallon size um, bags, Ziploc bags instead. And then you could, you know, flatten those out, get the air out, and you could stack those in your refrigerator if that works better for you. Somebody asked, why don't you put everything in a bowl and stir it up and put it in your refrigerator? I used to, to mix it all together in a bowl um, and then divide it into containers. And this is just easier. And in order for all of this to fit in one container, it has to be like a huge... Um, bowl and that and that would not um, fit in my refrigerator more questions yeah um, uh, so you talked about what greens um, and then G girl is wondering you know what's your other meal of what what else do you eat in a day if this is your yeah first you know it just depends it depends on the day we um, sometimes we just have a smoothie like today we'll be eating late because we're doing this video and so we'll probably not be real hungry at the end of the day Tom and I practice what's called intermittent fasting and so we fast for um, 18 hours a day and then we have a six hour eating window if you will so we usually have our lunch around 12 30 it's our first meal of the day and we have our chopped salad and then we don't eat again um, until evening and we try to be done eating by 6 30 and so um, if we're not real hungry we might just make a smoothie tonight and have a smoothie i always have soup and rice and beans and lentils and all kinds of things made up ahead of time some of it it will be frozen and so if we want we can have a bowl of soup with a grain mm -hmm. um, we can have beans rice and corn and have salsa and make it mexican yeah, some days i'll do my steamed vegetable soup also known as tom's dump soup for lunch because that is really too much liquid in volume to be eaten at nighttime and then I'll take one of these and make a smaller chopped salad uh, for my evening meal. So and just not add as yeah. much stuff to it. Yeah. So with this preparation, you know, we can each one of us individually choose what we're in the mood mood for 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 any given meal. Yeah, we so, could have a veggie burger for dinner. We could, I mean, you know, all the normal um, whole food plant based things that you would normally have. We eat very simply. Mm -hmm. We don't. Um, you know, like like vegan lasagna or shepherd's pie or things like that. We really only have that stuff. Usually if we're having company, um, then I'll make something that's more labor intensive yeah. like that. Otherwise, we're really happy with very simple, simple food. Okay, Gina S., not Gina the moderator, but yes. Gina S., uh, uh, said that she would like to see a salad chopped to see what the final volume looks like. Does your Instagram show chopped after displaying the artful, after displaying the artful pre-chopped ones? I th the short answer is yes. There are is a ton. ton of photos of Tammy's dressed out salads with all of the uh, beautifully arranged uh, add-ons that she does. To see the core actual chopping, I think the most recent video for that is how to chop. Uh, salad using the Holland wood bowl and that is a standalone video that goes through that whole mechanical part of the process 
what we start out with and what it reduces to. So that would be a good video to watch for that. Mm -hmm. um, if you just Google or do a search on YouTube, YouTube. Nutmeg Notebook Chopped Salads, you'll see I've, I've and made some, some older ones. There's a lot of them on there. The yeah. most recent one would be how to chop a salad using the Holland Wind Bowl. Okay. Um, I think so far as the mechanics of just chopping. Okay, cool. Um, um, yeah, and then uh, KLK Push, it says, please make a video showing how you customize your salad. You can see a lot of that on Instagram right away. Yeah. Because Tammy kind of, every time she creates a beautiful salad, she, she uh, drops it on there. And, and, and think about getting our course, you guys. I think with the discount, it's like, how much? Just under $20 or right, just over Around $20. Around 29 with well, the 40, discount? Yeah, 29 It's 47 regularly, right? And then like thirty percent off. And then like so, net. and in here in this, you will get tons of ideas on how to make your salads and what you know what you can do with them. All different kinds of toppings and um, you know we've gone to a lot of work to put that together. But uh, also, if you check my Facebook, Nutmeg Notebook Facebook page, and my Nutmeg Notebook Instagram page, I have posted probably 500 pictures yeah. over the years of different types of toppings that I've put on my chopped salad. So it's really whatever you like, whatever beans, grains, potatoes, fruits, um, other vegetables that you like. So these are the things that we have found that hold up the best. I don't put things in like, um, uh, I don't do cut cucumbers or cut any wet vegetables. peppers or any wet vegetables in the base. If you want those things, great. Wait and add them the day that you're going to eat them because um, they will start to deteriorate and they can make the rest of the salad actually go bad. Yes. Okay. Um, let's pop the lids on and show them how we fit all these in the refrigerator. Okay. And just KLK push question. I think you asked about the containers. We, uh, we do go into some detail about that earlier in this video. Uh, these exact containers are discontinued. And These are Ziploc containers. They're nine cup. And you That's might be able the... to still find them listed here and there. Yes. Um, and we do, and if they're available, we have a link in our Amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash nutmeg notebook page. Um, but we are still searching for a replacement for these that is universally available to everyone that would want one. And we have not achieved that quest yet. But but they do have they have one that's a ziploc has yeah, one it's not quite that's as a, long it's, a, it's a little bit taller right and the problem for me is that stacking them three high that particular one doesn't fit but that'll make sense once we start loading in my refrigerator fridge. so the actually first, actually we can leave two out for lunch okay the first three are upside upside up the first three are upside yeah up. i'll do it. I want to do it oh you want to do it okay well, you I'm, do it well i'm right here i'd be in your way if i don't do something First three upside up, the next three are upside down. They go to the right the of it, upside down. Okay. I think, well. Here, wait. You, actually, I'm going to go around I the camera these. because I don't even know what we're seeing here. Okay. I might need to zoom. So those I put in that way. Yeah. And we actually need to leave two of them out for lunch yeah. today. And then these go in here. As, as you can see, my refrigerator is a little bare right now. So you've got nine because, in there so far? Because we were gone. So there you go. There's 12, and then we're going to eat the two. Yeah, and otherwise... And that's kind of typical. These, this, is, this is how I would do it if we weren't going to eat them right now. I would go like this. So there's 14 salads in there. And so there's the 14 it can salads. Be done. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, it can. You just have to figure out what works best in your refrigerator and um, and go with that. Okay. Well, we're all set. Okay. I'm ready to start chopping. I'm sure that you are. Whew. So we don't have any potatoes to put on them today, but we have rice and I've got stuff frozen. I've got other grains frozen. I've got wild rice and oat groats mm -hmm. and then we'll just open up some beans and um what's katie new hampshire asking what kind of bowl 
I didn't hear where you get your containers and, and what did. kind of bowl do you eat the salad in. Oh, so once it is, I put it back in here. Once it's chopped, Tom oftentimes just puts it back in here to eat it. If we're going to be gone for the day, we'll take those, we'll take these with us. We'll put our chopped salads in here and take them with us. But I do like to put mine in, this is a two quart Corel bowl. And I like to put mine in here and eat it out of here. And those are also listed on the amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash not right. book page under bowls. And, and serving once items. again, these are nine cup Ziploc containers. Um, how big of a container you need is going to depend on how big you want to make your salad. And you may not want your salad to be as big as ours and you could get by with a smaller container. They don't have these exact containers anymore, but they do have ones that are a little bit shorter, but they're taller. Uh, Don is asking how long does it take? I like to take my time eating my salad. I will spend a good 40 minutes grazing on my salad. I could eat it faster if I was in a hurry, but I, I don't choose to. If you have a I half have hour window, something. you might want to, you know, size your salad appropriately to be able to eat it in half an hour. We encourage everybody to chew. Uh, that's the beginning of the uh, of a healthy digestion process. Okay. So what you got? A uh, question not to do anything to do with the salads, but what brand of vanilla powder do you buy and is it in your Amazon store? I think we have this in our Amazon store in the pantry, but I'm not sure. This is La Faza Organic Ground. Um, you can find that on Amazon. You can also buy it from local yeah, spicery. Leave it out and I'll make sure it's in the, in the a link. Okay, perfect. Okay. Perfect. Right. Okay, I'm just making sure. Any meal planning ahead? Um, Tammy Travis says. Yo, on a daily basis. Um, I wait to decide based on what mood I'm in at that particular meal time because the way we prep, we always have options. Whether it's making a steam soup or whether it's having some, you know, uh, a grain beans and rice or whether it's having a chopped salad. So, um, so meal planning for the week, uh, we, we are always prepared for the week, but we usually do not have a specific meal plan unless we're having company over. Did I answer that correctly? You did that good. So, sure. um, uh, Sylvia says, in your opinion, does the OXO, the OXO bowl work pretty well? It's a little bit cumbersome. I actually, I have one of those at my mom's house, but I use a mezzaluna knife in it instead of the, the, um, roller cutter, thingy. the rolling double bladed. The roller thingy. Yeah. But, um, as far as having that bowl though, it's a good bowl. It's not big enough to chop our salads our size in it all at once but you can put like half the amount that's in this container in there and then chop it dump it out and then do the other half so um but it's it's probably a good one um to get started with and the bowl certainly works pretty well but i'm just not thrilled mm. with the the rolling chopper that yeah. it has but you can buy a mezzaluna knife online um to use in it and that's mm. what i did mm. Uh, to I leave at my mom's house. I can answer Gina S's volume question. When we chop the salads in our bowl and put it back in the bowl, I'm then also adding beans, some corn, some edamame, some rice, uh, uh, the, the pumpkin seeds, the sunflower seeds. Uh, I do chop up some celery on the side I love to add in there. Uh, the fresh cucumber that Tammy mentioned, which is one of the wet vegetables. By the time I'm done adding all my stuff back in the thing, I pretty much have filled it back to this volume because I load it up. Tammy's probably is an inch and a half less deep when you're done. Your, yours is probably, you know, oh, there's lines here. Milliliters, 750, 1250, and 1700. They give us cups on the other side. She fills it back to the six cup mark and I fill mine all the way up to the nine cup mark for okay, sure. But he adds a lot more uh, add rice it. and add beans yeah. and all kinds of stuff to it. Claudine says, any other suppliers of wooden chopping bowls other than Holland? Their international shipping rates are... Extortionate. Ext extortionate. Yeah. Well, and, and they can't and the help it. The shipping is a lot. They're not like adding to that. That's They're just not. It's just, it's, yeah, it's yeah, just we've, super we've had, expensive. Yeah, we've had folks in Australia where 
I think the shipping was like $70 to get a bowl there yeah. or something like that. So I don't know of any other bowl companies in the U.S. There might be other bowl companies. You might look where you live. Um, do a search for where you live and see if there's anyone in the country that you live in that um, yeah. has the has the wood bowls. Sometimes people do find them like at secondhand stores or thrift stores because someone yeah. will have um, yeah. gotten rid of yeah. grandma's wood bowl. These are unique because they are one piece of wood. There's no there's no glue bonds. There's no seams. Mm -hmm. um, you could probably get by for a while with something like that. It just you know when we wouldn't expect it to last you know as long as these do. So anyway. Okay, I'm ready to. And so Tammy Travis is asking, any meal planning ahead? Um, we plan out our um, salads for the week. You know, I mean, we meal plan for those, but uh, I don't do meal planning. Uh, it's like, you know, I can't say on Sunday that Wednesday I'm going to want a veggie burger for dinner. That doesn't work for me. Yeah, that's what I was addressing earlier that I wait until the day of. And, and yeah. Wait, and, and because we have so many choices, it's, I can't, I do have a choice of what mood I'm in, what I want to eat. Right. Peter says that he can rip through a salad like this in five minutes. I don't think you can, Peter, because this takes a lot of chewing. It's got the kale in it. The kale will slow you down. The kale will, and the broccoli slaw and the carrots, it will slow you down. So, and I'm eating um, the pumpkin nuts, and adding the pumpkin nuts and the sunflower seeds, and I want to chew those, break them open, and enjoy those flavors. Yeah, Claudine well. says that, um, that it's a $300 charge to ship a $100 bowl. Well, and that's to, work, what, to what country? Yeah, we're just know. curious um, to what country that would be. So, um, you know, they just don't have control over how much it's going to cost them to ship internationally. So, um, all right. Peter says, ha ha ha. Have you seen my teeth? I have not. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, so kudos, anyway, kudos to you if you can do that. So that's anyway. awesome. All right, you guys, um, Gina, thank you so much for joining in us. Again. Yes. This is a two quart corral yeah, she, bowl. Gina said that. And yeah. they are on our, um, Amazon store. Bowls and food prep. Yep. So thank you so much, Gina, for helping out today. We really appreciate it. Thank you everyone who came and watched. Again, if you want to get our beautiful chopped salad course, you can use the discount code NUTMEG30 and you can save 30% on it. And um, I'm Tammy. And I'm Tom. And we help you get, get healthy, healthy and, and stay healthy, healthy one, one chopped salad, salad at, at a time. time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. We'll see you next time. And we're out.